big news out of the Big 12 for men's basketball. Later this month, ESPN's College Game Day will be in Ames for Iowa State's matchup against Kansas. That's on Saturday the 17th. Well, Chris, and that also means that the game between the Jayhawks and the Cyclones will be a primetime game at 8 p.m. Well, speaking of the Jayhawks, they're ranked 12th and play their first conference game on Wednesday at number 21 Baylor. Now, I got to, a chance to see them get a win over Florida, but it sure wasn't pretty. How is Bill Self's group looking so far going into conference play? Well, Kansas went 11-2 and against what was arguably the nation's toughest non-conference schedule. Now, one player that is really coming on for the Jayhawks is Kelly Oubre, a 6'7 freshman guard forward. Over the last four games, he's averaging 16 points and 8.5 rebounds per game. But he's very conscientious, even when he wasn't uh, – playing a lot uh, I, his attitude was great and everything and it was just a matter of time before the light came on I've said that many times and and it's true it's just a matter of time and, and I don't anticipate that light going off he's a really talented kid and, you know he, he's he's worried about the right things and he always has been but 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 you can really tell now that, that he, he just looks more explosive, quicker, and obviously more confident. And another key for KU is sophomore Frank Mason. He's the team's only healthy scholarship point guard. Over the last five games, he's kind of taken over. He's averaged 15.2 points, 5.6 assists, 2.2 steals. He's playing 35 minutes a game. On the flip side, Baylor lost its Big 12 opener at Oklahoma and wants to avoid an 0-2 start. How will the Bears do that, Wendell? Well, you know, Baylor really plays a tough zone defense, and so far that's limiting opponents to 27% shooting on three-pointers. That leads the Big 12. Now, conversely, KU is making 39% from three, and that leads the Big 12. Now, the Jayhawks have uh, a freshman in Jonathan Motley. They're gonna, KU's going to have to try to stop him. He averages 11 per game, but he's coming off a career-high 24 at Oklahoma. Yet again, for the 11th year in a row, Kansas was picked as the preseason favorite to win the Big 12. Based on what you've seen so far, will they end up in that number one spot at the end of the year? Chris, and I think it's really going to be tough. As deep and as talented as the Big 12 is, I think this is going to be the biggest challenge Bill Self's going to face. If KU finishes on top of the standings again, I think it might be his best coaching job yet. Okay, you can check out Kansas at Baylor Wednesday night at 8 on ESPNU. For Wendell Barnhouse, I'm Kristen Keith. Thanks for watching the Big 12 Digital Network.